Welcome to this week's Fastest Minute in Construction. I'm Nate Beck, Daily Reporter Staff Writer. Let's dig into the news. It appears contractors are confident that a strong 2018 will continue into the new year. That's according to an analysis by the Associated General Contractors of America. The trade group surveyed some 1,300 construction firms across the country and found plenty of optimism that the year ahead will be a busy one. But a pervasive worker shortage continues to frustrate companies in the construction industry. Nearly four in five companies surveyed said they plan to grow their workforce in 2019, but a nearly equal number expected it would remain difficult to find qualified workers. The city of Milwaukee could pause a policy that requires property owners to deconstruct, not demolish historic homes. The city commission meets next week to discuss the policy change. It follows a city report that finds the city's deconstruction requirement, which took effect at the beginning of 2018, took effect as the number of condemned homes in the city grew. The policy inflicts penalties on property owners who don't deconstruct homes built before 1930. Advocates say the practice encourages companies to recycle components used in historic homes, while opponents say it has an adverse effect on the city's efforts to remove blight. Many contractors, meanwhile, are reluctant to jump into the deconstruction industry, and the city hasn't offered training seminars for companies and workers to take advantage of the requirement. If the city approves the policy change, officials wouldn't enforce the deconstruction policy until January 1st of 2020. Downtown Milwaukee's East Michigan Street Bridge, which spans the Milwaukee River, will get a makeover, and the city is seeking a consultant to lead the charge. Crews wrapped up work recently on the nearby Wells Street Vertical Lift Bridge, and the city hopes to begin work on the Michigan Street Bridge in August. The city plans to select a consultant in February and let the project in March. That's it for this week's Punch List. We'll see you next week.